So when I started taking over the show about four years ago, I didn't originally have themes in mind. My whole idea was I'm just going to get people that I want to see speak, and the theme is whatever they want to talk about. I'll just arrange them in a format, and they show up, and they talk for 10 minutes without falling down. But after a while, people would keep asking me, what's the theme? And then I realized, uh, after a while, that creative people actually do appreciate having a bit of a format. So when I decided after getting the OK to have this show here at Retro Studios, we're doing joy. But why? Why joy as opposed to any other thing we could be talking about? Well, there are some interesting questions, the main reason why. So why does it even matter? Why? Where does your particular joy come from? If you lose it, how do you get it back? If you remember it, how does it affect where you find it? Uh, certainly, joy is not the emo only emotion that video games should inspire. In fact, that's not what I'm trying to suggest. If you're just expecting people to be playing games all the time and just be bouncing off the walls happy, that doesn't sound like a very ha an interesting game altogether. However, and then that's actually part of the reason why I didn't like having a theme in the first place is talking about video games is difficult because it usually turns into this really boring terminology war where people can't even argue, uh, agree on a single definition of words. Or even if a word can have one particular meaning, it doesn't mean that have the same meaning all the time. But uh, <laughs> we're, so we're going to have this, and so we'll do the obvious thing. The dictionary definition, which is really trite and boring, and it's like you've never read a dictionary before, but I wanted to point out just to, to say that, but now that I've done it, I'll just go for broke. And here are some other meanings for joy that I might or might not be uh, appropriating tonight. The philosophical. The slides will be very, uh, available later, so you don't have to read this. <laughs> the entitlement. The sardonic. The poetic. And the mindless. <laughs> Let's try this again. I didn't really give you the context. This is a show about game development and the people who make it. So what's the context of having uh, the discussion about joy? Well, it's interesting to me because I very rarely hear game developers use the word. I very rarely hear joy, enjoy, enjoyment. I don't hear happiness very much more often. So why is that? Well, they might mean joy, but they don't say joy. They say fun which is a different word in my mind. It has a different definition. It implies something different. So what? It has to mean something specific. So if you're going to use that term, uh, you have to be referring to a particular kind of joy. Certainly joy can come from fun, but can you have it without fun? Does it have to be, does fun have to be joyful all the time? Or the point, when we're talking about fun, whose fun are we supposed to have? I mean, obviously, you're making games. You want the people to be playing them, ostensibly to be having fun at some point. But what about the devs? Won't someone please? You saw this coming. Seriously, what? When do game developers get their joy? And is game development supposed to be fun? I'm not asking this question to be judgmental about it. I really actually want to raise it. Isn't it only fun when it's done? Do you get fun or joy if your game doesn't ship? Is there any joy to be had during the process? And if not, is there no joy in Mudville? I don't think so. Not asking to be judgmental. I think there's plenty of room to be discussing one way or the other. But seriously, I have a whole lot of events that I run all the time. And there's the thing about game developers, they're hard to read sometimes. You know, it, I don't want to assume the worst about it, but is that the face of someone having a good time? <laughs> what about that one? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I don't expect everyone, again, to be bouncing off the walls. I think there's something wrong, but that's the word I often describe. And I put that up, not to be tried again, but I did say I'll be going broke, didn't I? That's the word that I see a lot of uh, game developers, and I think, gosh, that guy's really dour. Maybe he doesn't really mean to be, but maybe it's the nature of the beast. So here's some facts. This came out just this, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, IGDA did a, a satisfaction survey for game developers. And one thing that was interesting is that the, now, uh, on average, game developers are in the industry for nine years as opposed to five years, but I think it was the last time they did a survey. But the point in the middle there, uh, 
you know, that they've been into four different employers in five years' time, so they don't stay in one place for very long. But they did ask the question, why do you do this for a living? 41%, the number one answer was, to earn a living doing what I enjoy. And yet, 39% said they would leave if there was any, if they wanted it a better quality of life. Now, I don't know where the Venn diagram works on that. I don't know how many of one part or in another part, but it could have both parts completely separate in the whole, but that doesn't really seem to make sense to me. But obviously, at least in the context of this survey, uh, joy matters. So here's what I'm trying to suggest here. Where, where does your joy come from while you're making uh, games? Does it all have to come from the process or can you find it somewhere else? This is an individual uh, journey for each individual person. Not everyone likes the same thing, just like players don't all like the same games. Here's a crazy idea. What if, for every organization that's making games, what if joy was part of the system? What if it was an objective? What if it was policy? Now, I've already brought this up to a couple other people, and uh, I do want to have a word of caution. Uh, it might actually be a temptation to use some kind of quantitative analysis, like this is not about getting a Metacritic score. You must have this much joy to get your next bonus. <laughs> Please don't think I'm suggesting that, but there might be a way to qualify it. You might be able to recognize something like a key performance indicator. Just an idea. To conclude, joy matters. Everyone's joy matters. That includes you. Find your own joy. It might keep you in the game. This is where place we're at in history, everything that led up to this point, and including the future that none of us, or the history that none of us have experienced yet, known as the future. It's coming at you 10 minutes at a time. Welcome to Microtalks. This is retro. Enjoy.